Welcome back to the Too Fast Tactical channel. Today we're going to be doing another tabletop review on a Kydex holster. This particular one is a IWB or inside the waistband holster made by a company called Bravo Concealment. Uh, link to their website will be in the description. This particular one um, is a torsion kydex holster and it's specifically for the Smith & Wesson Shield 9mm which is what I have out here on the table. I also have a uh, 8 round empty magazine um, to go in the firearm for, um, for uh, viewing purposes. This particular uh, kydex holster comes standard with threaded barrel clearance, safety clearance, Tall sight clearance up to 0.355 of an inch, assuming you had maybe suppressor sights on it. 1.5 inch belt clips, and of course it's black. So those are some of the specs right there. The It has an integrated 10 degree inward cant for greater concealability. Of course it's designed specifically for IWB concealed carry. And it does sit deep um, inside your waistband, um, which masks most of the, the visual signature of the weapon, which is good. It's very comfortable, when, and I have verified that. It, uh, According to Bravo Concealment, it's one of the few IWB holsters offering retention, and it does have good retention. Um, it does add minimal mass. The... It's very thin. I don't remember exactly how thin this Kydex material is. I probably have it written down somewhere in all my talking notes. If I get to it, I'll, I'll mention that, but it's, it adds very, very little mass. Of course, it's molded around the firearm as well, so you're, you're not, it's not a generic holster. The Kydex is molded to your specific firearm. Bravo Concealment offers free shipping, 30-day money-back guarantee, unlimited lifetime warranty, um, and the price is very reasonable. This particular holster, I believe, was dun dun dun, it's forty five eighty nine. Um, that's the current price on it for this pancakes uh, for the for this particular holster. The um, the thickness is point oh eight. Okay, got the got the thickness there. Um, all right, so uh, what do you get for your money? Well, um, this is how uh, it arrived to me. Um, we've got this uh, black uh, Ziploc baggie type thing. Uh, of course, it's made in the USA, Bravo Concealment. I believe they're in Texas, if I remember correctly. Um, I'll double check that. That's bravoconcealment.com. And so in the bag is the holster and the clips. Oh, baggie's cool. Uh, I also received a uh, couple of Bravo Concealment stickers. Of course, everybody provides stickers. Uh, very cool. A nice thank you uh, letter from Renee, the uh, owner of uh, Bravo Concealment. Um, talks about pretty much everything I just talked about, the warranty and such. And uh, they've got a nice uh, pamphlet here uh, that talks about the uh, Torsion IWB holster. Um, some information about it, uh, how to wear it, uh, adjustment of clips, and, and uh, so on. So this particular holster, as uh, okay, we'll come back to that. You can see this is definitely a very minimalist design here. You've got the contours of the particular firearm uh, molded into it. So they obviously have probably a training version of this firearm that they take a mold off of. So it's pretty much exact. There's two clips on it. You can see one of them here is, is removed. Uh, so you can run this IWB with two clips or you can run it with a single clip. Right now I have this configured for single clip. I find it easier to, to put in and make minor adjustments with the single clip. Uh, I'm used to running a IWB Kydex with my Ruger LCP with a single clip. Um, on some of the heavier guns you probably might want to have the double clip. Um, I found that uh, I'm, I'm not accustomed to adjusting a double clip holster, so I've got one clip on it right now, and this is the setting I have for it. Um, you can adjust the cant and how deep this goes inside your waistband by moving this clip up and down. There's two screws right here. Um, if I move this up, it's going to sit deeper down. I found that 
if I have it really deep, reaching to my five o'clock, which is where I wear this, my five o'clock position, reaching around and trying to, to, to grab the firearm, I have problems. I have to dig to get my hand underneath the uh, grip of the pistol. So I have it set like this to set it up a little bit further so I can easily get my hand around the, the grip so I can uh, draw the pistol. I'm still playing around with this. This is a fairly new setup. Um, in the past, I have not had an IWB for the uh, 9mm shield. Uh, I have only had an, an outside the waistband, an OWB holster for the shield. So this is my first IWB for the shield. Um, this is very comfortable. Um, it it's definitely makes the shield less printable, the way it keeps the, the gun tight up against your body. And having the ability to uh, adjust the cant and how deep this sits inside your waistband is very helpful. At least for me, it is. So, um, the uh, let's see, let's talk about some of the other um, setups with this. Uh, on each side of the of the holster, there are three holes through the kydex, and these holes have. Um, almost like a, a metal rivet going through them. So you're not putting a, a screw mechanism through the kydex that under tension back and forth could possibly tear the tydex. So you have this metal ring in here for reinforcement. Solid good design here. You have three holes that uh, gives you a little bit more flexibility on how you place your clips. Um, this longer clip, that's the trigger guard clip. You can see there's a lot more holes in this for more adjustability if you're running in a single clip design. The barrel clip, there's only three holes right there. So you, you can move it up one notch or down one notch. This mechanism here is kind of standard on Kydex holsters uh, that I've seen in the past with other manufacturers. So this is, if it wants to come out, Okay, so basically um, you have, uh, it's like, this is like a nut and it, it is, has a, uh, the camera can see that, it's got a little flat uh, cut in it, so you could use a flat blade screwdriver on one side and a Phillips on the other side to tighten this down. Also sitting in between these two is a donut, and who doesn't love donuts? A little rubber donut. Um, and you might make sure the donut's in there when you when you screw this down. Um, when you're moving the clip around, sometimes the donut has a tendency to uh, pop out of where it's supposed to be because it, it needs to sit um, between the the nut uh, on the on the top here. So uh, you gotta be real careful when you're when you're moving this around, taking the screws out, make sure you get the donuts in place. Um, the other thing that I have discovered in the past with other similar uh, kydex type holsters that use these types of bolts is that over time these can loosen up on you. So what I normally do is uh, during my learning phase where I'm adjusting the the clips to get the right setup, um, once I get this where I want it, I'll, I'll take the screw out and I'll put a little bit of blue Loctite nothing other than blue. Blue is blue is safe because you can remove blue Loctite. I'll put a little bit of blue Loctite on it and I'll screw this down and I don't have to worry about these loosening up on me because the nut here, this is not a lock nut. Um, I don't even know if this style this style is available in a lock nut but um, there are nylon um, lock nuts available that uh, a screw you can screw it down and it serves as a lock nut so the screw won't back out so you don't need a thread locker but in this situation and this particular design I've actually had these things loosen up and uh, back out on me so uh, I always put a little bit of blue Loctite on it uh, this does not come with any blue Loctite and I didn't find any mention about adding Loctite to these screws you may or may not run into that problem again this is a uh, extremely new to me, but uh, other holsters I've used that use the same type of screw and nut design, I have had loosen up on me. Anyway, um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Um, I've got a 9mm shield here and a empty magazine, of course. Let's make sure we don't lose any donuts. Nothing worse than losing your donuts. 
make a grown man cry. Uh, the shield in this case fits in. The retention is solid. It's, it's definitely not coming out. The retention is really good. When I first tried this on and went to draw my pistol, I was, I was surprised at how much tension this has. I mean, you really have to pull on this to get it out. You, you could be running, jumping, falling, rolling. This isn't going to pop out on its own. This retention is solid. Uh, more so than the Kydex I use with my LCP. Um, that one doesn't even have this type of retention. So this is really, really nice. Um, this gun fits in here perfect. You can see down here um, that the end of the uh, holster is open. It's also a little bit longer. So if you happen to be running a aftermarket barrel that's threaded, um, you've got room for the threaded portion of the barrel as, as well as a thread protector, which is cool. Um, the, the sight setup on this, obviously the rear sight doesn't go into the holster, but if you take a look, let's see if we can take a look down here. Camera, cooperate. There we go. You can see uh, the way this is designed. If you were running much larger sights, you know, suppressor height sights, it will fit with no issue. And of course, this particular gun doesn't have uh, the safety, but it is notched for the safety. So if you did have a 9mm Smith & Wesson shield with the safety, you've got one design, fits both versions of this particular gun. So, very cool. Um, these, my understanding is these are built to order. Um, when I placed an order for these, uh, I was told that they were being built and they would be sent out in a few days. So they were very uh, quick to process the order and get it out. And I received it in a very timely fashion. So um, awesome. Now the, let's see. Look, what else can we talk about here real quick? Let me look at my talking notes here. Um, the torsion technology. Um, you obviously saw how tight this fits. Um, it's not going to fall out. Uh, it's, this is designed with a um, 10 degree inward angle. Uh, this provi that provides better concealability. Also, it gives you, a, you know, at the five o'clock position, it works good for me um, to make it easier for me to actually grab the, the, the grip and to draw the pistol. And what else? Obviously, you can run this appendix. Um, you can run it um, at the three o'clock. You can run it at the five o'clock. Honestly, I, I, on OWB holsters, I might run them at three o'clock, right on my hip. But for IWBs, I always run them at five o'clock. I don't run them any other way, so I can't comment on on other methods. Um, if you got a fat belly like me. Um, running, you know, in, in the appendix uh, is not very comfortable. So um, my five o'clock is is my preferred choice. And let's see. Wow, I actually covered all my talking points. Imagine that. So I. Um, all right. So that's all the talking points I had uh, written down. Um, I have used this for a few days. Uh, I find it very comfortable. Normally, depending upon the weather, um, my um, concealed carry will either be a Ruger LCP, LCP or if uh, enough clothing, uh, the weather permits enough clothing, I will wear the, the, the shield. I, I definitely prefer to carry the shield. But um, printing is, is an issue. And with this holster, um, I can go deep concealment with this holster. Um, there really is no printing, uh, which is really nice. Um, even running the single clip design, if we, if we take a look at how this, this clip is, you can see that this, you just kind of bend this and you can slide it over your pants and your belt. Um, and it comes together right, right there. See that? So drawing this, drawing the pistol, even with the tight uh, retention or the tight torsion on this, I have not pulled this out of my pants. So I'm glad to say I have not pulled it out of my pants. No, um, I, have, I have not tried to draw the pistol and had the holster come out. And it, with some designs, that's actually happened to me. Uh, but with this, this clip design is pretty solid. Uh, even running with one clip on here, I've, I've, it's not come out. And I've, I've run this with just clipping this onto my pants. 
and I've run it with uh, also with a belt. It's more secure if you clip this on over a belt, uh, but even with everything that I was trying without the belt, I still could not pull the holster out of my pants. <laughs> That sounds funny when I say that, but uh, that's true. I, I could not pull this holster out of my pants. Uh, so uh, this clip design is, is pretty cool. Um, and it's uh, flexible enough to where you can, you can uh, put this over thick uh, jean type pants or maybe slacks or with a belt. So you've got enough flexibility with the clip. And I've bent this clip up quite a bit and it hasn't fatigued. Normally if it's cheap plastic, you bend it too far and you get a fatigue mark on it and it kind of turns a little white. Um, this is a solid uh, plastic material right here that um, is, is going to definitely last for a long period of time. I did try this with um, two clips um, and you can do that, but removing the holster t for me is a little bit more problematic when I'm running two clips on it. On a larger frame gun, I could see the necessity for the two clip, but on something small like the shield, um, one clip for me is, is adequate. Um, anyway, those are all my talking points. Um, the fit and finish of this, along with these metal uh, uh, rivets over here, um, the very thin kydex, the strong, um, which is very strong material, um, this is a virtually a perfect holster. I mean, it's got. Uh, there's nothing I can fault with it, uh, except for the lack of blue Loctite. Um, if I could improve anything about this package. I'd uh, include a little bottle of blue Loctite for people and uh, uh, in case they run into issues with the screws loosening up on them. Anyway, that's going to wrap up this tabletop review on the Bravo Concealment uh, IWB Torsion Gun Holster. Um, they, they make this for a lot of different models. Uh, they do not make this for the Ruger LCP, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would have picked up one of these for the Ruger LCP as well. Uh, so you can visit their website and you can go in and you can choose your pistol and you can find out if they make one for the particular pistol that uh, you own. Thanks for watching.